Hey guys, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Golden Hero. If you watched the last episode, we ended up in the swamp on the mini-boss. I couldn't get through it, I wasn't really sure how. But yeah, let's get straight back into the game and see if we can figure it out. Okay, so here we are back at the beginning of the swamp, because I died right at the end of the last episode. And I was starting to get a little frustrated with that little mini-boss that we came across. Uh, hopefully today will go a little bit better when we get back there. Okay guys, so I'm back at the door for the mini boss. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here just in case we do die again. I'm at almost full health, so hopefully this goes alright. I'm gonna see if shooting it with the boomerang when it opens up does anything. Oh god, it already opened up. Damn, I'm struggling getting it right when it opens up. Nope. Can it open up? No, that doesn't do anything. Huh. Oh my god, I was in the freaking water. I'll, I'll try and swing at it when it opens up, if I can reach over there. No, it doesn't do anything. Well, I think we might need another item to do this, because this is not working out for us. Because that didn't... Here, let's check our inventory real quick, see if there's anything there that might help us out. We got the mirror, but that's not doing anything. Uh, the map's not helpful. Hmm. I'll try hitting it with the boomerang again, but it doesn't look like that's gonna do anything. I can't deflect those, unfortunately. I can almost guarantee that when it opens up, that's when it's supposed to be vulnerable. No, nothing. I am so totally lost right now. Is there anything? I could... Since I can walk on this edge, I might be able to walk on the other edge and go right up to the thing. So maybe I should give that a try. Maybe I can hit it then. I can move it, it looks like. I don't know if that helped at all. Okay, but that's another game over, unfortunately. Um... You know, I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit more of the dungeon and then come back to that and see if I come across any items that might help. Okay guys, so I couldn't find anything in town, so I'm going to just attempt it again. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky. I have no idea. I'm going to try and take the outside again. No, that doesn't do anything, man. It doesn't freaking do anything. I am so unbelievably lost. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but I just cannot figure this out. Nope. Oh, that did... I heard a noise when I hit it. Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do, just hit it with the boomerang. And then maybe try and swing at it after? Oh, that's not good. I'm almost dead again. Come on, open up. Damn it. I'm gonna die here right away. 
Uh, I'm gonna try and avoid all of those. Oh! I actually hit it! There we go! Okay, so we just... We gotta be really careful and we gotta get really close to it. Open up. Oh my god, we did it! Thank god. Jeez, that was a struggle. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's head through the next door now. Ooh, we got a big chest. So that's probably either an item or the boss key. Oh, we found the bow. Fantastic. Uh, start menu to equip it. Let's equip that right away. Let's just... Uh, we can put it on... Yeah, I'll put it on RB and then I'll leave the, the ocarina on Y. So now we can do that. We can hit all these buttons. Which is very nice. And... There we go, we can travel back to the beginning. So I want to go check out this area on the left first, because I had a few spot. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to go back to the right, because I remember there was an eye we could hit over here that we couldn't, because we didn't have the bow yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first, just to see what kind of item we'll get. Uh, let's see how much damage this does. Is that a one hit? Oh yeah, that's a one hit. That's going to make life a lot easier. Imagine this is just rupees, but you can always use... Oh, it's one of the keys. I didn't expect that. It usually doesn't... Games like this usually don't... Or, sorry, Zelda games usually don't make you backtrack for small keys. Unless, like, you're just going back there because it's the only way to go. It doesn't usually make you go in a place that you kind of, like, don't really need to be anymore. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, and that's... We got the compass now. So we can see where there's chests. Oh, so we see the piece of Triforce at the top there, too. Uh, the boss is right up in the center. And then we got two chests left. So now, since we got the bow, we can hit these. And actually get across this uh, swampy area. And we can use our small key on this guy. And let's take him out right away. Uh, looks like we can shoot right through there. So let's do that. So we hit both of those. Oh, we got another gold sculptula. Interesting uh, where we'll take these eventually. So let's move forward. Oh, I guess that probably did that. Oh, let's go hit those buttons first. See what that does. That lights the fire. Uh, I imagine these probably, yeah, they close off that so that we can move these guys over to the buttons to light the flames. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So that's a pretty easy task. Uh, while I'm over here, I might as well shoot that one. Uh, I'm gonna go a bit further. There we go. Uh, let's move this one over as well while we're down here. And push it up through here, and then we'll have to go around for both of them to get them right on the buttons. I'm assuming that will probably make those spikes go down or we just need to light these oh I, I think I get it we need to light these two fires so that I can shoot my arrows through the fire and it lights the fires behind them I think that's how it's gonna work I could try it right here just to see Does that work yes yeah, that's exactly what we're doing perfect so let's go up here uh, and I was reading up a bit more on this game also, and it turns out the game is not finished. Uh, there is two dungeons in the game, that's it. So unfortunately we can't find all eight pieces uh, until the developer decides to release more on the game. But as of right now, I'm happy with two dungeons. Like, this game is treating us pretty well, I find. Uh, 
I'm really enjoying it personally. And the fact that we can just go online and find more Zelda that was ever released, I think that's pretty damn awesome. At least for Zelda fans, I'm assuming people watching this are Zelda fans. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's pretty awesome that we can just come on here and find uh, games like this to play when when there's a lull between games coming out. Oh, we found a fairy. Keep an empty bottle. We do not have an empty bottle yet, so you have to set it free. That's fine by me. Oh, another gold sculpture level. Perfect. Got a uh, gold sculpture token. You got a token providing you destroyed it. Uh, same idea here, I'm assuming. Light the fires, and I can't seem to aim. There we go. There we go. And one last one, and then we get a chest. Perfect. Oh, we got another piece of heart. So that's two now. So if we get two more, we get an extra... I'm assuming it'll just be like a boost to our health bar, because there's no actual heart. Uh, that's all just to prep us for the boss, I'm assuming. And here we go, we got the first uh, dungeon boss. Drosera. Poisonous plant. Oh, shit. So I should probably stay to the side. Oh, I guess I probably should shoot that eye there. Oh, I missed it. Oh, and the the grass actually uh, regrows. That's interesting. You want to show me your eye, buddy? No? Not yet? Oh, shit. There it goes. Okay, I got one hit down on it. I'm assuming since this is the first boss, it'll just be like a three hitter. Uh, not sure, but I find first bosses often are just three hitters. Nope. Oh, okay. There we go, I got a second hit on it. I still got like half my health, so I'm not too worried about dying. Uh, oh, okay, that hit me. That's not good. If this is a three hitter, I think we're in the clear. Uh, let's hit it again. Oh, it's not a three hitter. Okay. And that hit me too. So this is not looking good. Uh, I'm just gonna go... Oh, I can't save game. Shit. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just four hits. So there we go. We defeated our first boss. It's very exciting. I'm assuming there will be a heart container in the center of that. There it is. You got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one. Perfect. So our health bar there just increased a little bit. I'm assuming we got to use our swamp song on this to open the door. You can't warp from inside. Oh, does that make me warp to the swamp? That would have been nice to know. Well done, Link. You have made it all the way through the Swamp Temple. And you have defeated the monster guardian guarding this very room. This is but one of eight pieces of the Triforce. By taking it, you are accepting your destiny to become a hero. May you find your way to the next piece. It just puts a smile on your face. Okay, here we go. Warped us out of the dungeon. Game saved successfully. Uh, we got a little more health now, which is always good. So, I, yeah, I guess, which I didn't know, um, if I had played the Swamp Song while in town, it would have just warped me straight here, which I did not realize, which would have been nice to know. Oh, even the owls in this game, that's awesome. Hello Link, I've been watching your progress. Don't look so surprised, I'm here to give you some advice. 
That song you played to open the temple can also use for one more thing. The same goes for all the songs you will learn from now on. Playing a secret song after opening a temple will warp you to the temple entrance. Keeping this in mind the next time you learn a new song. Goodbye for now. So I guess they just don't want to tell you for the first one because they want you to explore a bit more. But I guess, I guess they don't try and hide it from you for that long. Uh, I'm going to see if that'll... Oh yeah, that's a one hit. That's awesome. Perfect. Now there's a few things we could actually do now that we have uh, now that we have the bow. Uh, we can do the challenge or the little game in town, the shooting gallery game. I'm really enjoying just shooting these choo choos instead of killing them. Normally, it's making life a lot easier. Not that it was hard before, but. Anyways. Oh, and I died. So I guess the dungeons in this game aren't too long either. Uh, which is fine by me. Like, it's made by two guys. I can't expect, like, a full, flushed out Zelda game. When the team is so small, like, I can't imagine how large the team is on, like, a regular, full-flushed Nintendo Zelda game. It's probably gigantic. I can't even fathom how big it is, to be honest. Uh, I wonder if these arrows are what can get us through those areas that we couldn't get into before. Uh, I'm gonna check. No, okay. Oh. Are uh, these boulders- oh, they're boulders! I thought they were, like, tree stumps. I'm blocking the road to my village. If only I were allowed to use bombs. Huh. I wonder if now that we've beaten the swamp dungeon, if the shop, the bomb shop is open now. Oh, this guy's new. After all this hard work, I'm thinking about getting an early retirement. Maybe I'd finally have the time to complete my tool collection. And who am I kidding? I've never find, I'd, I'll never find a fishing, oh yeah, fishing rods. They're so hard to come by. Okay, so... Oh, there we got mail now. Good day, Link. Check inbox. Yes, please. You have one new letter. Get your mail now. Yes, I would like it now. Go to the pause menu and open your mail collection to read it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, grand opening bomb shop. Our bomb shop in Hyrule Castle Town has now officially opened. Drop by the next time you're in the east part of town. And let's go do that then. I was on my way back to the village, but there are lots of monsters outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this all before. Um, before we go to the bomb shop, I'm going to try out the shooting gallery game. Because I feel like we might get another piece of heart from it. Oh, that bow of yours. Why don't you try this little game for practice? 20 rupees, try it? Sure, why not? Got 200 rupees. Okay, all you have to do is hit the moving rupees before they disappear. Green rupees 1 point, blue rupees 5 points, red rupees 10 points. You need at least 75 points to win a prize. Get your bow ready. And go. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. This is a straw. Oh, the freaking green one got in my way. That's the game. Let's see. Are you serious? Holy crap. What, do you need a perfect score to, like... Here, I'm gonna try it one more time, because that's freaking ridiculous. That's how short it is? Green rupees, yeah, I, I, I get it. Red, 10 points. Okay, I gotta hit the red ones then, because that's crucial. I didn't realize how freaking... many I had to hit. Oh my god, I missed a blue one. I missed a red one. I missed a bl another blue one. Oh my gosh. And that's the game. Let's see. Oh, it's based on how many arrows I have. Shit. Here, let's see. How many arrows does it give me? Why don't you try this? I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, so I'm given 10 arrows. So maybe I'll just try and hit the red ones. Uh, there's too many green ones in the way there. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I missed again. Not good. 
Oh, I'm bringing back a red one. And that's the game. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it there for now because I'm not gonna. I'm not doing well on this. Uh, let's go out there. Uh, I didn't use any of mine, so I just lost 60 rupees for nothing, though. Which is always welcome. I believe the bomb shop was down here, so let's go check that out, because that's... Yeah, it's right here. This is brand new. Uh, first we need a bag. Oh, I wonder how many freaking rupees this is going to cost me. 90. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not as bad as the collection bag. You don't even have a bomber's license yet? You need a bomber's license before you can go around blowing stuff up. Are you kidding me? If you want to obtain a license, I can give you a test. Do you want to take the test? Of course I do. I need the damn license. Good. Now listen closely to the following instructions. On the road to Kakariko Village, there are some boulders blocking the way. I'll give you a test bomb so you can go blow them up. If you complete this little task, my assistant will give you a license. Follow the road to Kakariko Village and you will meet my assistant. Alright, take this then. So I got one test bomb. I'm going to leave that out of my inventory just in so I don't accidentally blow something up. Or so I don't accidentally use it at least. Um, let's go ahead and go back to Kakariko though. Okay, so here we are. Let's equip the one bomb we got. Let's place it there. And that should lead us in. You found some ore. This rock contains metals that can be extracted from it. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if that's what we need to make our sword better. Uh, you die. Thank you. And yeah, that was not a good shot. Set up to Kakariko. Uh, so let's actually head out Kakariko Village and talk to the guy right next to the boulders. Because I feel like that is who the assistant is. Because I haven't seen anyone in here that is wanting to talk to me. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Hey! You did it! Mission accomplished! You have passed the test. You now officially have a bomber's license. Okay, cool. So let's go back and buy the bombers. The bomb bag then. Okay, here we are back at the bomb shop. Uh, and let's go ahead and buy the bomb bag. You did it, boy. Well done. To carry bombs with you, you need a bomb bag. This is one nice. This one is nice for beginners. 90 rupees, buy it. Yes, please. You won't regret this. Uh, does it come with bombs? Bombs. It does come with bombs. Perfect. I could probably go talk to the advisor and he'd tell me. But I know from the, the game notes that the mount, I think they call it the mountain dungeon, was the only other dungeon in the game right now, so I assume it's that mountain that they're talking about. So let's go up there and check that out. I wonder if they'll have like King Dodongo as the uh, enemy. So that'd be kind of cool. Oh uh, shit, I'm stuck here. There we go. I'm assuming we need the hammer for those. Uh, we got some more ore up there, so I'll grab that in just a second. So we got two more ore. Uh, these guys are immune to me, I guess. Let's try a bomb. Does that work? It does work. Fantastic. I'm not going to worry about them for the most part, though. I'm just going to try and avoid them. Oh, we have the Goron City right here. I'm assuming. We got the music for the Goron City, so... Yeah. Hello, the secret song. You will have to speak to the big Goron about that. But all the caves and tunnels are closed. Go talk to our leader. Only the Goron leader can give permission to open the doors. Okay. So I gotta go find the Goron. I can't go that way. I don't have the hammer yet. So let's head down here. I'm imagining... Or I imagine he will be in the center of the room. Uh, like, are you the Goron leader? Mm -hmm. Behind me is the infamous Goron City main stage. A great deal of cool things will be happening here soon. Hmm. So, 
Oh shit, okay, I gotta try and stay away from the fires. Oh my god, I might die here. Speaking of dying, I'm gonna save my game. Because that would be mighty embarrassing. Uh, let's go and head up here and try and find the Goron leader. Are you the Goron leader? If you need more bombs, you can buy them at the Goron shop. I don't need more bombs. I've got plenty. Hello, are you going to see the Goron leader? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm assuming this is where he is. That looks like one hell of a leader. You're a long way from home, kid. What? You want to learn the secret song of the mountain, you say? Princess Zelda has asked you to bring all pieces of the Triforce together. I can't help you with that right now, kid. The only one who knows the song is the big Goron who lives at the mountain top. But he's asleep for several months now. We are starting to get worried. He always sleeps for a long time, but this has never happened before. You should go see the medicine Goron in his cave. Maybe he knows what to do. I'll make sure all the locked doors will be open for you. Is this the medicine? Medicine Goron's cave. Perfect. Yes, he sure does look like a medicine Goron. Oh, I hope I don't need the damn bottle. The big Goron has been asleep for several months. We've been we've tried to wake him up in every possible way. Also, I've been trying to make a potion that could help. But so far, nothing has worked, I'm afraid. What we need is magic. I've heard there's a witch in the swamp that knows how to make magic potions. I would go talk to her myself, but we Gorons are not welcome in the swamp. Will you go instead? Sure, why not? I know exactly where she is. I've written a prescription. Take it with you. You got a prescription. Really? The witch is our doctor? <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Minigame cave. Let's check that out. Welcome to the Goron minigame cave. The preparations aren't finished yet. Come back later. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Well, I don't know if that's the best idea, actually. No, I'm gonna leave normally. Uh, just because... Oh, I wish I had the hammer. It makes life so much easier right now. Luckily, all this like stays the way it is. I know in some other Zelda games, once you leave a room, the whole room resets. Uh, it's nice that these rooms don't. But I'm gonna try and get back to the castle on foot. And since I have 300 rupees, I might as well go and buy the empty bottle because I don't want to get to the witch and then need it. So that's just gonna be a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna go do that first. Uh, Cause I got my prescription and everything. I believe everything is good to go there. So I'll see you guys back when I get to Hyrule, uh, Hyrule Castle Town. Okay guys, so here we are back in Hyrule Castle Town and let's go and buy the freaking, it's way more expensive than it should be, empty bottle. Thank you, may it come in handy on your quest. You bought an empty bottle, it's perfect for carrying potions or fairies. Press start to go to the pause menu and then equip it. So back down to eight rupees. And now let's head over to the swamp. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over there because it's really, it's closer to the entrance of the swamp than it is to the dungeon, so there's no point in using the song. So, uh, just through here and to the right. There we are, back in the swamp. And I'm just gonna use arrows on these choo-choos just because it makes life a little easier. And I've got 20 arrows, I'm not hurting on inventory there, so just to make this process go a little faster. Uh, there's one choo choo dead and two choo choo's dead. So let's take our prescription to the witch and see what she can tell us. A prescription the Gorons at Death Mountain sent you. I see, they need a magic potion that can wake people up. I could make this, but I don't really like Gorons. If I were to do it, it would be for you, not for them. But then you would have to do something for me, too. For this special potion, I need some ingredients that are hard to find. I need you to go find all of them for me and bring them back here. I will, will you do it? Yes. Good, here's what you need to find. 
Five orange mushrooms, three fresh carrots, ten drops of red choo-choo jelly. The orange mushrooms are extremely rare. You may only find one in each part of Hyrule Field. Hmm. You won't find carrots in the fields, though. You must find someone who sells vegetables. Veggie Reggie. Red choo jelly is easy enough to find if you kill enough choo-choos. Hee hee. If you find all of these... Uh, and bring them here, I'll make the potion for you. If you don't already have a collection bag, now is your time to get one. Uh, luckily, we already bought that, so... Uh, now, we've gotta go do some collecting. Uh, and I've actually already bought the carrot. Apparently, it was only three carrots, because he ran out of stock after three. And I also found uh, two more mushrooms. So I think it was five mushrooms, three carrots, and ten choo-choos. Which, if we look at my collections bag, I have five mushrooms, three carrots, and 20 choo-choos, so we should be fine there. So let's head back to the swamp and see if we can get the witch to make the potion for us now. Okay, here we are. We're back at the witch. And let's talk to her. You did it! You found all of the ingredients. I'll start working right away. Come back later to get the potion. How much later? Finally, there you are. Your potion is finished. You got a wake-up potion. Try using this to wake up the big Goron. I will do that. And unfortunately, I can't shoot arrows at these guys now, because I ran out of arrows. So, once again, I'll see you guys back at the Goron City. Uh, where we will go up to the top of the mountain, and... We will wake up the Big Goron and learn the song, and then I'll probably end off this episode right there. So one of those freaking turtle things, can't remember what they're called. One of them's almost freaking just killed me. Uh, right after I got away from it, I made sure I saved again so we don't have to recollect. Because uh, that would have been a huge pain in the ass. So now that I have the wake up potion, I think I'm going to head over to that Goron cave. Yeah, so I think we're going to use this cave to... We're going to bomb the... Oh, okay, I might die here. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't die there. Uh, I'm going to try and keep my distance from these, because I'm one hit away from dying. Uh, let's put one right there. Just gotta make sure I have enough space to kind of like get away this time, and I make I want to make sure I face the area that I want to blow up, so I don't get trapped behind bombs again. Okay, one more should do it, and there we go. Make sure I don't touch the fire. I'm going to go ahead and save right here, just to be safe. Uh, let's go in here now. Oh, we got lava. Oh, we actually got freaking enemies in here. Good thing I freaking saved! Okay, so we're back here with hearts. So right before I go in there, I'm going to save again. Game say success yes, successfully. And let's go through here. I'm gonna do the same strategy and just kind of avoid those. That way I can just cruise through there. Uh, let's head back outside and not die this time because I got health. Uh, and this time I'm going faster so I can avoid these guys. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to avoid this one. And I'm freaking stuck! What the hell? I glitched the game. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, here we go. Hopefully everything... Oh my god. Nope, I'm killing myself again. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I pretty much lost all my health right away, so that's why I killed myself, but like... It's starting to get real frustrating. Okay, there we go. That went perfectly. Get through here. Let's get outside. I'm gonna try and go up to the right. I'm gonna try and get past this guy. 
There we go. I only got hit once. Well, let's drop a bomb right there, just to open that up. Uh, come on. Get around them. Oh, looks like this takes us higher again, so that's good. Uh, I imagine we push one of these. Maybe inward? No? This one. Then push that up. No? Is it to like create a pattern or something? There we go, that worked. Okay. So let's head up. Let's kill the bats. If we, I don't know where the other one went, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's keep moving forward though. That was nice and easy. And unfortunately, that did damage to us, but luckily we still got a 20 rupee from it. Or a red rupee, I should say. And there he is, the miss, the big Gorn himself. Let's see if this works. Da da da! And he's awake! Oh, are you the one who woke me up? Thank you, I have certainly overslept. I love sleeping, but I was starting to have nightmares. So you want to learn our secret song, do you? I see. It seems you have been given a serious task. I want to help you in any way I can, therefore I will teach you the song. Let's do this. Take out your ocarina. Awesome, the song goes like this. Your turn. The song will now show up in your song menu on screen. Congratulations, you have learned the secret song of the mountain. One more thing, you should keep the bottle you, car you carried the potion in. Thanks again for waking me. I wish you good luck on your quest. So I got an empty bottle in it. I didn't need the one that I bought. But anyways, it's always good to have an extra one so you can carry mo multiple fairies in case you die. So, I'm going to stand right in the middle. And I'm going to end that episode off there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's a lot of cutting to do in this one because I recorded for about an hour and 36 minutes it looks like. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to be notified every time I put out a new video, hit that little bell icon next to it and it'll notify you every time one of my videos goes live. Thanks for watching and Steamatic out. <laughs>